Hi, I'm Megan Jennifer. Welcome to your practice. Today, we will do a 25-minute everyday yoga routine to build strength and flexibility in your body and ground and center your mind. Come to a comfortable cross-legged position. Allow the palms to rest on the knees, sit bones heavy into the mat, crown of the head lifts. Feel the shoulders drop away from the ears. Finding as much length along the spine as possible. Often we come to our mats after going 100 miles an hour throughout our day. Take this time to slow down and reconnect. Scanning the body. Noticing if there are any areas of tension. Beginning to send the breath there. Long, deep inhales through the nose. Exhale, relax. If thoughts enter the mind, allow them to gently pass on the exhale breath. Coming back to the body, right here, right now. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead, and exhale the hands through heart center. Again, inhaling up, reaching the fingertips up as high as you can, and exhaling to press the palms together. One more time, inhaling up, and exhaling down. We'll move into a seated side bend here. Bring the right fingers toward the mat. Inhale the left arm up overhead. Bending to the right here. Feeling the fingertips reach away from the left hip bone. Let the hip be heavy here. If there's space, you can come onto the right elbow maybe rolling forward and back a little bit to loosen up the spine and then rolling all the way forward finding length and relaxing into a forward fold maybe a little sway here to loosen up the hips back of the neck long and relaxed and breathe Inhale, walk your way back up, and we'll switch sides. Switch the cross of your legs, bringing the stretch into the opposite hip. This time, left fingers come to the mat. Inhale, the right arm up overhead, bending to the side. The gaze can be up or down, whatever's comfortable on the neck today. Again, keep the hips anchored to the mat, finding length across the whole right side body here. Sending the breath into the ribs, allowing the diaphragm to expand completely. And again, we'll roll forward here, finding length as the crown of the head reaches away from the sit bones, and then relaxing into your forward fold. Stay tuned in to the breath. And on an inhale, we'll come back up. Reach the arms behind you, fingertips to the mat, lift the gaze and the chest, and then release. Coming into a neck stretch here, drop the right ear toward the right shoulder. Maybe reach out through the left fingers and breathe into the side of the neck. And we'll switch sides here, left ear to left shoulder, possibly reaching out through the fingers on the opposite side. And then rolling the chin forward toward the chest, finding length in the back of the neck. Oh, release here with a couple rolls of the shoulders. And coming on to all fours now, bring wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Crown of the head reaches away from the tailbone. Find some engagement in the core here. And then go ahead and drop the belly, lift the gaze, reach the chest through the shoulders. And then exhale to round, drop the gaze, broaden between the shoulder blades. And repeating, inhaling up. And exhaling to round, pressing the hands firmly into the mat here. 
And one more time in your cat cow, moving with your breath. And keeping a slight engagement of the core throughout. Then coming back to neutral here, we'll move into a spinal balance. So reaching the left leg back, the right arm forward. Trying to stay level at the hips here, reach the fingers and toes away from each other. Keep the gaze down and then drop the toes and the fingers. And then exhale to lift. Again, inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. And then once more, inhale to lower. Exhale to lift and pause. Keep the belly button drawing in toward the spine. And then slowly release. We'll do a little stretch and release of the back calf here. So pressing out through the right heel. And then coming back to all fours, we'll switch sides. Left leg long, right arm lifts, fingers and toes reach away from each other. Feeling strong and supported in the spine as you lower on the inhale and exhale to lift. Inhale lower, exhale lift. One more time and pause. Find as much length as you can here, and then release. Same little calf release here, reaching back through the left toes, maybe a little rock forward and back. And then here we're gonna come into a little core exercise to build some heat. So tuck the toes, pull the belly button in toward the spine and hover the knees just a little bit. Press down through the palms, broaden through the upper back. Keep everything tight in your midsection here. And then slowly release by pushing back into down dog. Come way up high on the heels here. So first work on finding length along the spine. Fingers and palms press evenly into the mat. Allow the head to drop, tailbone lifts. And you can pedal out through the knees here or keep a nice bend. Want to keep the spine long here even as the hamstrings stretch. And pause and breathe. We'll inhale the right leg back, keeping the hips level. Exhale to bring the foot forward between the hands. And come into a nice low lunge here. Reaching the left heel back behind you as the crown of the head extends forward. And then go ahead and drop the left knee, untuck the toes, and we'll come up here. A couple of options. You can just allow the hips to sink. You can bring the hands to the knee. Create a little arch in the upper back here. Keep the belly button drawn in toward the spine. Keep the strain, any strain out of the low back. You can also inhale the arms up here. Let the hips be heavy. And then go ahead and move into a twist toward your right side, left hand to right knee. The right arm can grab onto the waist or to the back leg. Keep your, your hips squared toward the front of the room here. And then exhale to release. Bring your hands back ar around either side of your foot and come into your warrior two. On the right side still. The right heel is parallel with the left arch. Arms extend. Keep your core engaged here. Bring the shoulders over the hips. Gaze out over the right fingers. And then we'll inhale into Exalted Warrior. Right arm extends up overhead. Keep bending into the right knee, knee over ankle. Then we'll exhale here into your side angle. Right elbow to right knee. Your left hand could be on your hip, or if it's comfortable, it can extend up overhead. Find tons of length here along the left side body. And then go ahead and drop your right hand down if there's space, or keep it up on the knee. Inhaling back into your warrior two. Inhale the arms up, straighten the right leg, and then exhale to come back into plank. Core engaged here. Pressing out through the palms. And then release knees, chest, chin to the mat. 
Inhaling into a baby cobra here. Slight lift of the gaze and exhaling back into down dog. Take a big inhale, breath through the nose, exhale through the mouth and sigh. And preparing for the other side. Inhaling the left leg up, hip square. Exhale to bring the foot between the hands. Go ahead and use your arms to help your foot forward if needed. Coming into your low lunge. Pressing out through the right heel. And then drop the right knee toward the mat, untuck the toes, and come up into your low lunge. Hips grounding down. Find that variation that worked for you on the other side. Make sure to draw your left hip back and your right hip forward, possibly bringing the arms up overhead and breathe. And then on your next exhale, we'll twist toward the left. Find the length first, reaching fingertips away from each other, and then bring your right hand to your left knee. Keep drawing in through the core here. Nice twist. Then bring your hands back between your feet, and then coming up into warrior two. This time on the left side. Hips open to the side. Left knee over left ankle. Fingers reaching away from each other. And then inhaling back into exalted warrior. Left fingers reach back. One more inhale and then exhale into side angle. Left elbow can come to the knee or you can bring your left hand to the floor here. Huge stretch in the right side body. Try to find length in the left side as well so you're not collapsing here. Open up across the chest. Try to stack the shoulders. Then we'll inhale back up into warrior two. Straighten the leg, lift the arms. And then exhale, coming down into plank. Try the knees, chest, chin variation again or chaturanga. Upward dog. Moving the chest through the shoulders here, core engaged. And exhaling back into down dog. Pedaling out through the legs. Maybe taking a nice deep breath again and a sigh to let all the work and effort go. We'll inhale, come on to knees here. We'll find our child's pose. So knees can be wide like I have mine, or you can bring them closer together for more support. We'll exhale to fold forward, reaching fingertips away from the body, allowing the forehead to rest on the mat. Maybe rocking it a little bit from side to side here. And send the breath into the back body. Often we can be really tight here, so allow the breath to puff up the low back and in between the shoulder blades. And then exhale, sink and relax. On your next inhale, we'll come forward and then push back into down dog. Take slow tiptoe steps toward the top of your mat and we'll meet in a forward fold. You can have a nice bend to the knees here, allowing the low belly to rest on the thighs. And maybe shaking a little bit here from side to side, nodding the head, yes and no. Allowing your hands to rest in your elbow creases here. Then we'll move into a twist. So left hand comes to the mat, right arm extends up overhead. Make sure to have a bend in the left knee. Find length across the collarbones and exhale, switch sides. Right hand comes to the mat, bend in the right knee and inhale the left arm up. You can come around to the bat low back 
if this half bind feels comfortable. Lots of space across the collarbones and chest, and exhale to release. Interlace the hands behind your back, and then come into a forward fold. Keep the palms pressing together and allow them to drop down, finding a release in the shoulders here. Send the breath into any areas of tightness. Maybe shifting the weight slightly forward toward the balls of the feet. And then inhaling to release, we'll slowly roll up through the spine to stand. Allowing the head to be the last thing to come up. From here, go ahead and shake out any of the work that we just did. Shaking out the arms, the legs, the hands. And we'll move into some balance postures from here. So go ahead and ground down now through the right foot. Feel it heavy, stable, connected with the earth. And hug the left knee into the chest. You can clasp around the shin here, the back of the thigh. Maybe roll out a little bit through the left ankle. And coming into tree pose, the right foot can come to the ankle, the calf, or the inner thigh. Just make sure it doesn't rest on the knee joint. And wherever it is, feel it press into the body with equal force as your leg presses into the foot. Hands to heart center here. And if it feels good, you can experiment with lifting the arms up overhead, finding a still spot for your gaze. And finding your breath here. making sure not to take your balance poses too seriously. We'll see if we can release the left leg and allow it to super slow motion return back down to the mat. And shake it out and we'll switch sides here. This time, the left leg sinks down into the mat. And then the right knee hugs into the chest. To allow the tailbone to be long here. Keeping the core engaged, that's a really vital part of balance. And then find your tree pose variation on the other side. A comfortable place to rest the hands either at heart center or overhead. And if you fall out of it, try again. Smile. Maybe hold on to a wall for a little balance help or even do your tree pose against the wall. It can be really nice to feel those points of alignment along the back body as you um, enter into this pose. Big inhale breath, and then exhale to release. Super slow motion to return your foot down to the mat. And shake it out, and then we'll meet back at the top of the mat. We'll rest in our Tadasana for a moment. Allow the feet to be parallel in hip distance. Draw the kneecaps up, tailbone long, core engaged. Shoulders relaxed here, crown of the head lifts. Palm shine forward, breathe. Keep the standing posture strong and engaged. As we move into a little wrist release, so wrap the fingers around the thumbs, roll out through the wrists in one direction, and the other. And then go ahead and press the palms forward like you're telling someone to stop. Fingertips up toward the ceiling, press out really firmly. And then switch. Palms still face forward, but this time your fingertips drop toward the ground. Press firmly away from the body. And release by shaking out the wrists. Inhale the arms up overhead. And then exhale forward fold. Inhale to find length. And then turning the toes out, we'll come down into a squat here. And feel free to put a block under the hips if that's more comfortable. I'm finding some lift here so you're not collapsing into the squat. You can press the elbows against the outer knees to wide or the inner knees to widen them. And then go ahead and come all the way down onto the mat here. Keeping the knees bent. We'll move into a little core engagement here. So inhaling to lift the chest. Exhale to slowly roll back. You can have the hands on the back of the thighs here. Inhaling forward. And then exhale, drawing the belly button in toward the spine. Pelvic floor lifts. 
and then again inhaling forward you can extend the arms here if you're feeling strong and again inhaling forward exhaling to roll back inhaling forward and then exhaling to roll back belly button toward the spine and then slowly roll all the way down here fingers and toes press away from each other and then pull the knees into the chest here allow the tailbone to drop toward the mat here release the low back and we'll come into a happy baby so grabbing the outer edges of the feet drawing the knees in toward the chest you can straighten one leg or the other or just kind of rock back and forth here however your baby feels good Try to keep the tailbone anchored and heavy. And then we'll come into a figure four here. So go ahead and um, press the right ankle against the left knee, allowing the right knee to open. You can hold on to the outer shin or behind the left thigh here. Feeling a nice opening in the outer right hip. Allow the shoulders and the back of the head to be really relaxed here. And then we'll move into a twist here so you can actually go ahead and fully cross the legs and then allow them to drop over toward the left and cactus the right arm here and gaze up at the ceiling or out at the right arm deep twist hips heavy and keeping either the shoulder or the hips anchored here send the breath into the ribs feel them widen on the inhale full diaphragmatic breathing and then exhale we'll slowly release and switch sides so figure four on the opposite side here left ankle to right thigh drawing the knees in toward the chest allow the left knee to open wide feeling the stretch in the outer left hip sending lots of breath there if this is an intense pose for you, finding some places where you can relax, releasing in the jaw, we hold a lot of tension there, and in the face. And then go ahead and move into your twist on the opposite side, allowing the knees to drop over toward the right this time. Cactus the left arm, send the gaze wherever it's comfortable. Allow the shoulder and the hip both to be heavy here. So your body's really twisted. You're sending lots of breath into the side body. And you're ringing out the organs here in the midsection. Finding some really good release along the spine. And then go ahead and release by bringing the knees into the chest here. Nice squeeze into a little ball. Maybe even tucking the chin in toward the chest here. Super, super tight squeeze. And then releasing completely, allowing the legs to extend long into your Shavasana. Allow the legs to completely relax here. Palms of the hands up toward the sky. Find your points of contact here. So feeling the back of the head sink into the ground the shoulder blades, the hips, the pelvis be really heavy and relaxed here. Send your breath all the way into the pelvic bowl, expanding out the ribs, maybe even coming up into the collarbones a little bit, and then exhaling, release. I feel the legs the heels perhaps resting into the mat, feeling really supported here. And then go ahead and relax that deep breathing. Just find a really natural breath. Allowing thoughts to come and go. Allowing yourself to rest here in the present moment. We'll go ahead and add some little flickers of movement into the wrists and the fingers and the toes and the ankles. 
And draw the knees into the chest slowly, rocking a little bit from side to side. And then rolling onto one side here. And rest for a moment. And then we'll come back up to find that comfortable seat. And noticing how it feels different this time. Maybe some more openness through the hips. Maybe a little more length in the spine. Maybe your chest, your heart center feels more open. Maybe the shoulders are more relaxed. Maybe you have a soft smile on your face because you're feeling a lot better now. And one last breath together. Inhale the arms up overhead. Maybe lift the gaze here. Exhale, hands to heart center. Drop the gaze toward the palms. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me.